Um, before we started using the airtight Cambro lids and the Cambro containers, um, when we would prepare the guacamole, you know, it's fresh, so we're using fresh avocados. The minute you take away the pits, you know, you can't store in a food service an avocado pit and all the, you know, remedies of preserving that layer that happens of oxidization on guacamole. So we would, you know, we make a big batch, we take the time to put it, you know, in the containers we're using. Um, stainless steel containers and then we take a plastic wrap really push down so we try to eliminate the exposure of air to the guacamole and then you know date it put it in the mm -hmm. put it in for backup put it on top well it would oxidize very quickly by the end of the day we'd have brown avocado and uh, guacamole so you know you're scooping off it's not bad, but you're scooping off a layer. The operators, you know, our, our guys are scraping. Well, every time you scrape, that's pennies that are just being tossed. So waste, you know, at a very expensive product adds up. Mm -hmm. So after we started incorporating the Cambro airtight containers, we're able to make, you know, a, double the batch of guacamole, and then we're able to store them and preserve them for a long time. One of the benefits of producing you know, the guacamole, the fact that we're able to produce a large quantity, so now I'm paying uh, paying one of my prep cooks to one period of time. You're in the mode. They're already, it's a production line. They're, you know, whether you do 14 avocados or 24 avocados, the product that they're able to do, I'm paying you one, you know, 30-minute period of time to create something that will last two shifts. So now I don't have to bring an extra person in to prep for the evening, I can have one person designated. And once you once you do something at a repetitive rate, you become faster at it. You're more mm -hmm. proficient, so it cuts down on my labor.